Hi, Steph. Um, first off, how are you doing? And just where are you at in terms of your re rehab process? I'm doing great. Hope you're doing well as well. Yes. Absolutely. Um, where am I? Uh, where am I at? Just all stuff that's not involving the court and basketball related activities yet. So <clears throat> a little ways away from that, but every day has gotten better. Um, it's a slow kind of process early, letting everything kind of settle, letting the healing process start. Um, the goal right now is just to try to let it heal while you maintain as much of your strength and conditioning and um, keeping everything as active as possible around the injury. And then hopefully soon I can, you know, get back on the court and start doing basketball stuff and slowly build from there. Do you have a target, not like return night necessarily, but like timeline that you think you can come back in? No, because it's all dictated around how this heals. This was different than like the shoulder where it was pretty predictable where I'd be able to get to a point where I could play and not re-injure it or put myself in jeopardy out there on the floor. This one's different because ligaments can heal all different types of timelines. Um, so there's like a window for each checkpoint. Like after all-star break, I want to hopefully get back on the court. And then depending on how things go from there, you can start to key in on, on, a, on a specific date to get back. It's It would, I mean, especially the way you're talking, it would be fair to assume you will miss a chunk of games post all-star break. I don't know how you define a chunk, but yeah, I won't be playing against the Lakers on uh, the first game back. It seems like it's a rare-ish injury or just kind of strange. What, I know you're not a doctor either, but I guess what have they kind of told you about this injury? And, and I know in that Denver game, it looked like you kind of banged it, was feeling some discomfort. Do you know if that played any factor into then the... Uh, similar... Um, Mechanism, I guess, but different. It had nothing to do with the other side. It was more so the force of the contact of uh, Wright's knee into into my shin, how much weight I had on it, how it was positioned. So it was a pretty big knock that uh, kind of jolted the bone and and the ligaments in there, which was all the terms that I didn't know existed before. Uh, kind of describe the injury so it was just a timing thing like if my foot's elevated and it's just more like a contusion and you can kind of deal with it but it, because my foot was playing and there's a lot of weight on it and the force of the impact it was uh, a little bit more serious than than I wanted it to be to kind of fall off of Kendra's question you know what was that pain level right away like what were your feelings what were your thoughts when that first happened at first, it felt like it was normal contusion, just a real serious one. So I went to the bench and thought I could uh, kind of just shake it off. Then I got up from the bench, felt something different. and was like, no, nah, that's, not, that's not right. So we went back to go check it and did all the tests on it. I knew it was something more than just a normal contusion because I couldn't put any weight on it and was kind of hobbling around. Um, but thankfully, there weren't any broken bones or anything. Uh, just the ligaments are kind of dicey just because, you, like I said, it's, it's, you don't know how long it'll take for it to really get truly healed so that you can get back out there because it's not something you can play through um, if it's not healed. This is obviously the second time you've missed some games, and now the team's at 500, uh, just got past the trade deadline. I know it's hard to have all these things on your mind, but where are you feeling this team is Obviously, trading James Wiseman, who was going to be a big piece of the future, getting GP2 back, who you guys know so well. Just what's your sense of where the team is right now? Uh, I mean, it's it's just about trying to just figure out how to just win the next game. I think it's, it sounds uh, boring as that is. It's really all we can really focus on right now because of you know the injury to myself. You know, the whole GP situation that we've gone through the last three days, um, our guys battling every single night trying to, you know, build momentum, find a little bit of separation in the standings, but more just a little bit of uh, an identity of who we are as a team this year. So all those things are kind of floating around. Um, very optimistic that, you know, Hopefully we can finish, you know, these last two games strong, get to the all-star break, get refreshed mentally, physically, 
guys have been through so much these last you know a couple of weeks come back and uh you know just find a way to get out of that play and kind of you know uh congestion in the standings and uh and see where it goes from there because you know, i know we're a different team than we were last year i know we have different um challenges than we did last year but it still has been proven that if we're healthy you know come playoff time and you know, we have a shot to get into a series that we're we're a tough, you know, out. So that's where all the optimism is until proven proven differently. And I know everybody's just focused on what that is. It's it's just hard not being able to play right now to try to do something about it. Stefan, um what could could Gary um do for you guys if he's able to come back in a month or a month and a little after that? Um you you already know what he's done and, and what does it mean to have him back even just his his presence has has meant a lot to you guys for sure he he knows our system he knows uh where to find his spots and then on offense and then defensively he's um built a strong identity around you know being a pest out there you know no matter who he's guarding just making him uncomfortable so defense has obviously been a big challenge for us all year our numbers especially on the road uh tell the story there so he can plug a lot of holes for us. I know we have to wait a little longer than everybody expected, but that's the optimism about if we could just get to that full team kind of opportunity and him healthy and all the work that he's going to do in his rehab to to get his 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 spring back and his his juice back and get his body back. Like that's why the trade was made. So um, that's what we're holding out hope for. You know, James has obviously been kind of a constant storyline for you guys over the last three years. Drafted second overall, uh, you know it, that era is over now. But as you look back on it, what uh, what kind of what's just your perspective on, on how it went down and why it didn't work? I mean, it's such a unique situation from jump where you know we're coming off of five straight finals appearances. We have a down year, second pick. It was a guy that. Uh, you know, on paper, feel the need for us in terms of, you know, a big presence like that that could be athletic on both ends of the floor. And I know it's been well documented just the ups and downs that he's had in his whole career with the injuries, the COVID stuff they had, you know, first training camp to uh, the meniscus uh, surgery and, you know, the challenges there. Every time he started to figure out a little bit of momentum and show the signs, he had something kind of pull him off the floor for whatever reason. So he never really could figure out, um, you know, just the availability part. And that was nothing he could control there. It was just a matter of, you know, how, how the cars were dealt. And I think we all love James. Like, that's the biggest thing. It's it's a guy that you, you root for. It's a guy that you know will be able to figure it out. It's a guy that approaches every part of his job the right way, um, has a great attitude considering everything he's been through and the expectations around him and the conversations around him. So a lot of confidence that he'll uh, be around this league for a long time. I don't know what his ceiling is, but uh, it's a guy I want to see if, you know, figure it out and have an opportunity. Uh, I know it's been said it just wasn't going to be here because of you know, all those circumstances and the fact that uh, – it was just tough to find minutes for him uh, because of what we're trying to do and and what Lou and Draymond and even J. Mike now bring to the floor. So um, I'm I'm happy. I'm excited for him, and uh, I hope he does some great things in this league.